Jerry, how's it going? It's a brand it's, new day. It's going good, man. I mean, you must be exhausted. You were up at like, what? 3.45, 4.45? What time are you up? I woke up at 3 a.m. my time, which Woo. was 4 Eastern, and the servers went live at 5 Eastern. Um, so I've been up. I think the stream's been going almost 12 hours right now. I'm not too tired. I just had some <laughs> coffee. I was wearing the catfish head and get some rejuvenation. You feeling all right? Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good. Uh, let me come. I gotta go over to your world. What's happening? Why are all these buttons being pressed here? Logitech's trying to talk with Discord, and Discord's trying to talk with Logitech and all this stuff. I don't know what's happening. There we that's go. A lot of, that's a lot of talk. There's a lot of talk, Jerry, right now. There's a lot of talk. Uh, all right. So, did you get a chance to play it all uh, on your own in the past week? You know, I was playing a little bit on my own and I the 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 issue not issue the trouble I was having was I got to learn to read the map a little better like I was trying to do some like little kind of side missions right and I was just taking forever to get where I was going I don't I don't properly read the map but um gotcha I'm excited for week 2 okay all right I'm I'm transporting over to your server real quick let me uh I got to put up my my tweet as well. This all happened super fast. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad this is happening though. Yeah, yeah, I'm glad we we're able to get it uh, get it going. Let me shoot <laughs> you a invite real quick. All right, sounds Let's good. Oh. Then we'll go to uh, old Gradania. Um, so yeah, I think we'll just keep pushing down. Uh, so with this week, obviously, like, Shadowbringers is out. You're level three, though. You're not able to access the Shadowbringers content because uh, you're still pushing through the main story. I think in uh, subsequent weeks, we'll level you up so you can kind of see what's going on. Uh, but this week, since we probably have a lot of new people uh, checking Final Fantasy out for the first time, I think it would yes. be a good opportunity to kind of show them, you know, what they can expect if they're starting at the level one like you did last week. Like me. Yeah. <laughs> you could be just like me. You can. You can. You can download it for free uh, up to level 35 and check out the game. Uh, you started with, you're playing uh, Archer, right? Yes. How are you Correct. feeling about Archer? You liking it? I mean, I'm liking it. I found, like, you know, when we were kind of picking off, what were we, I mean, I, I just found that it was a little... Not difficult. It took me a little while. Remember, now, full disclosure, everybody watching, I'm on controller, and I know that's that's acceptable here. So I know this is controller-friendly waters. But um, it was taking me a minute just to get the mechanics of archery. But, you know, if I were to switch, I mean, I feel like I'm just going to be dealing with that no matter, no matter what. So I kind of want to stick with it as I take my, my bow and arrow out. Like, I can't just fire practice shots right now, right? Um, you can if there is a uh, if there's a target dummy around. Right. Um, I, don't, I don't see one of those, though. Yeah, I'm not sure where the target dummies are uh, here in Gridania. I'm coming up to you. Um, there's definitely some around here, but we could probably just go outside. Did you finish? I need to pull up your stream so I can see what's going on with the quest log. But did you end up finishing the... Uh, the, like rabbits and stuff that you had to kill uh i got quarrels with squirrels um yeah but we we finished that one thing so i got quarrels with squirrels i still have to finish and then economics uh obtain a bone spearhead obtain a pot of beeswax oil i got like a bunch of little side things and for the way of the archer it just says report to Lucianne at the Archer's Guild. So, All right, not well, a whole lot going on. I would say let's focus on the uh, the exclamation point quest with the little fire next to it. Let me pull up your stream. I'll tell you exactly which one that is. Uh, by the way, we are squad streaming, so make sure you guys are watching in that squad stream format so you guys can see both uh, stream perspectives. But uh, before we even do anything, how'd the, uh, how'd the character go with the wife? Was she into it? Did, was she liked the uh, the pompadour. Was she about it? So that was a huge success. 
Okay, it good. It led me to even get some gaming in last night, a little bit. Um, I actually babysat my. I don't want to, you can't call when it's your kid. You can't call it babysitting. It's uh -huh. like such a dumb thing. I watched my kid by myself for the first time last night <laughs> okay. for like a three-hour stretch. Yeah. And I put it on my Instagram story, and it was, it was a battle. It mm -hmm. was war. Mm -hmm. It was a constant back and forth of is he going to go to sleep or not. But I did get to play a little bit, and um, I'm even getting to pl bring some ga like my gaming stuff on the road. We're going to be gone this week, so I'm going to be – our stream next week is going to be live from Cleveland, Ohio. That's right. Uh -oh. The stream is hitting the road, folks. Uh-oh. Cleveland. <laughs> They're not even yeah, ready. I, I feel like I just we just lost 10 viewers when I said that. <laughs> Cleveland rocks, man. I, that was in a Cleveland famous show. Rock. I heard. Does rock. Yeah. Look yeah. at you, buddy. Wow. I know. You're, I've, uh, you know, I've moved on from my Hume life, as it were, last week, and now I'm, I'm rocking that bunny life. It's a little risque too for a Friday afternoon. I mean, you know, I'm just a girl out on, on the town. You know, we're just so we're just out here. I should keep with Way of the Archer, right? Uh, yeah. Let's go. Let's go do Way of the Archer, and then we'll do uh, the. How do you? Yeah, Way of the Archer. Where's your Where's your main story quest? Oh yeah, no, that is your main story quest. Let's go do that. Let's go do Way of the Archer. All right. Uh, uh, so did you? You can actually, I think. I don't know if you have the uh, shard for it, but you can go over here and port to the Archer's Guild if you grab that uh, Ethernet shard down there. If not, you can go to the main one, and then we could just run from there. Um, okay, so where am I going? Do you, does it have the Archer's Guild Ethernet or no? When you right-click on that? No, I have the Leather Workers Guild. That's not what we're looking uh, at. Go to the go to Gradania Aetherite Plaza then. Okay. This will be a lot nicer uh, than last week. Although it was great to have as many people as we did hanging out. It was a little bit uh, overwhelming, I think, at some times. A little times. overwhelming. Yeah. But it was cool to have people welcome you. I mean, that's always fun. Yeah. As long as it's not overwhelming. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, so start coming east. East. Okay. Go east. Yeah, this is where uh, this is where your trainer was last week, if you remember. Back in this little cove. Oh, you're going south. Come back. Uh. There you go. I'll be easy to spot now because I'm super tall. <laughs> you are. You're, you're definitely like a six footer. Yeah, this is the tallest you can make. Uh, of this oh, the race. only thing that my wife Bree did say when she saw the character is she thought I could have made it a little more like her, maybe like darker hair. See, I told. Okay. I'm, well, you can change the hair, actually. That's one thing that yeah. you can modify if you really want to. Or, you know, you could just say, well, why don't you just dye your hair pink, wife? You know? But the last name was a big hit, and that, that came from, I think, your chat. One of our chats gave us the The Ferrara. Pompadour plays. It works. It, it's, uh, it's a good hairdo, for sure. Uh, I'm not sure. Who are you supposed to talk to in here? Oh, that's a good question. Oh, uh, it's this guy right here, the uh, guild master. Yeah. This guy's just starting out, too. I have successfully completed the trial. I present you with this, this hunting log written within are the names of such creatures as would provide a fitting challenge should you find them, okay? <laughs> Encourages me to pro practice proper technique. Yeah, you know what? I completely agree. I need, I need better technique. <laughs> okay. Next archer quest will be available from this gen upon reaching level five. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Let me uh, let me put a mark on myself so that you can see me through the walls and stuff. Here, I'll be the plus sign, and Perfect. you can be the circle. There you go. <laughs> you can, it's okay if you want to make me a minus. I'm kind of like a net minus right uh, now. Cool. They don't. I was looking for a minus. They got square, circle, plus, and triangle. <laughs> Are you feeling any of those symbols no more triangle. than one other? 
purple triangle. I feel like that's like some like Illuminati stuff. Okay, no Illuminati. No Illuminati. Um, all right, so where is your... So if you click on the top left where it says to the Bannock, yep. where does that take you? <sighs> That'll be your main story quest up there in the top left. You got the Black Shroud. Uh, and then yeah. New, and then New Gradania. Yeah, let's try to follow that if we can. Which uh, one? New Gradania? Well, if, if you click up there in the top left, does it tell you exactly where to go when you click on uh, the to the Bannock main... Uh, next main scenario quest outside of the map. Uh, next main scenario quest to the Bannock. Confirm destination. Yeah, then just port there if it's asking you to port. I'm not sure where it's telling you to go. Black Shroud. All right, I guess let's go to the Black Shroud. That would be... Is that accurate, chat? That seems kind of early. Yeah, because this is level four, so that might not be accurate because I'm level three, right? Um, I mean, it might be a little bit above your level, but that's okay. I'm just not sure where that quest is. It's it's probably right below the crystal. Oh, okay, to the end. Oh, okay, gotcha. Uh, we'll come over here first and click this shard, so when we have to come back to it, you can just port here easily. You got your double fist in. Oh, yeah, the, the ninja webs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess last week you couldn't really see these because they were so tiny. No, that, they, look, they look spectacular this week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, let's go back to the main plaza. I think the quest is in the uh, in the end down here. Uh, back where plaza? he started out. Yeah, yeah, plaza. And then we'll uh, head south. Is there a way to run faster or no? Uh, you should have a sprint ability on your bar. I'm trying to see exactly where that's at. Uh, it looks like you don't have a bound, uh, but you can sprint. You could drag that to your hotbar if you want to. Okay. Uh, I'm not All sure right. where the quest uh, is in here to turn in, but it should be somewhere around here. I mean, oh, it says you're not high enough level. If you come over here to Mother... Uh, so if you ever see like a, a quest um, icon like that that's red, it means that, means that you're, you're not, not appropriate high. level. So uh, if you right-click that, what does it say for the level of the quest? Does it say level four? Uh, if you go to like right-click that NPC. Or just select it. I, I keep forgetting that you're using Selecting controller. Selecting it, just says to the Bannock. Hmm. Like it's like telling me to do it. Yeah, then when you click on that, it does it tell you that you're too low oh, level four? Oh, uh, level four, level four. Level, level four. four, gotcha. All right, well, let's go do... Um, Side mission or something? Yeah, yeah, let's go do the quarrel with the squirrels. Is that out <laughs> in uh, Central Shroud, probably? Uh, quarrel with the squirrels, that's a great... The names are great, yeah. Uh, I think that's Koji Fox, the lead translation for all that. Oh yeah, you can also do the hunting log. Yeah, we'll just go outside. The other thing is if uh, if you're Central playing the Central Shroud, Central Shroud. Okay, we'll go this way. If you're playing the uh, the free trial, you won't have a lot of the XP bonus stuff. But if you end up buying like uh, the if you buy Shadowbringers, like the complete edition, you'll get a bunch of XP bonus stuff uh, if you're just starting out. So you'll just get oodles and oodles of XP. Um, and so this type of stuff won't necessarily be here all the time, or in terms of actually needing to do it. But since you don't have that, we're going to do this. <laughs> so 4 a.m., huh? You would just grind it. Yeah. yeah, that was fine. Wait, why is it always rainy like this? Yeah, I've been, uh, I'm currently 72, almost 73. Probably about 60% of the way through. Um, you got to kill these ground squirrels, right? Yeah. Now, this is what... Okay, I'm going to drop group and let you do this uh, by yourself so I don't steal your XP. But yeah, you can get used to the combat here. So if you right-click, it should just start auto-attacking. Or if not right-click, sorry. You're using controls. If you select it, it should just start auto-attacking. And then it doesn't look like you have any of your actual uh, archer abilities. 
So I need to get you those on your hot, hot, ugh, hot yeah, bar as well. Because I had... Um, yeah, you should have power shot and heavy shot, I think. Yeah, I was doing power shots last time, I feel like. Um, now, let me ask you a question. Do you want to kill bunnies or would you like to go see a really cool fate that spawned in this area named Odin? Oh, uh, I would like... Well, I definitely want to see that. <laughs> okay. And should I just wipe up these? Uh... Yeah, kill those squirrels. I'm going to get a mount that we can both uh, hang out in. And then we're going to go try to find this uh, this fate that will... I got. I don't have any power shots yet. No, you should. We'll, we'll sort that out. So jump in here. Right click on this or click on me and uh, <laughs> click ride pavilion. You can ride shotgun once. Oh, you're killing all this. Oh, oh wait. I have to put this away. Uh, it's fine. I'll just kill all these guys. Uh, is it oh God! Dead? You're, you're mauling. Oh, jeez! Whoa! We there we go. All right, they're all dead. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, no problem. No problem. No problem. All right. Uh, okay. So you should just be able to click on me, and then uh, click ride patillion. It's still got me. I'm still engaging with all these. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure how to uh, disengage. Well, I mean, I can kill these guys again for you. I just don't know how to make okay. it so you can All select right. I think me. We can go now. Okay. We'll get the mount out again. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. Looks like it's, it's making you select, select again. If you hit circle uh, and then come up to me and press A, does that work? Or sorry, you so hit circle and then come up to me and press the D-pad and it should be able to target me if you press D-pad like left or, or right. Yep. And then press A, and it should bring up a sub menu. You could ride Patillion. It's not bringing up a sub menu. I, I'm like highlighting your name. If you highlight my name, press A. Does that work? It's just yeah, a ride. You up. Now I have a circle around you and the vehicle, but it's not saying like ride. Um. Hmm. Hit square. Hit square. That brings up the sub menu. Ah, there we go. I should... Okay, there we go. <laughs> We're in the Uber. I'm in the backseat. There you go. We got to try to find this guy. Uh, so what's happening right now, the reason the weather is like it is, is because there's a fate that is spawned uh, that is a rare spawn somewhere in this thing. Also, these guys might attack you. I don't think they're going to kill you, but if they do, I'll just get out and murder them. Uh, does anyone know in the FC? I guess you guys are on the server. I wonder where this guy actually is. Um, so yeah, that uh, fate, like I was talking about, is a world quest. Uh, you were doing some of those last week. And this yep. one that spawned is a rare uh, world quest that you can get some pretty cool rewards from. Um, it's designed for level 50s. Obviously, Whoa. you're not level 50. So I'm going to hide behind you. Well, you're probably just going to die, is what's going <laughs> to really happen. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. Uh, but we'll have some I people I mean, by the way, in. by the way, I'm cowering behind you in the vehicle. Like, it, pretty much I look like I'm ready to die. I'm sure. cowering behind you in the back seat. I want to switch to the shotgun. Uh, you should be able to, if you right-click me and click right patillion again, you should be able to select what seat you want to sit in. Um, I should probably turn on the music as well. I think I'm locked into this seat. Are you? Okay. Gotta be careful because, yeah, Whoa. you just died. Just it's fine. Don't out. release. Don't release. I got you. Oh, God. I got you. I'll change jobs here. I should have been able a... to sleep real quick. Yeah, they'll do that every once in a while. Okay, there we go. I just went night night. <laughs> Where is Ray's? Oh, that's Benediction. <laughs> there it is. I'm, I'm literally napping. Yeah, you're just taking a little nap. You're just taking a little nap. There you go. Oof. Now, what was that that hit me? Uh, a level 31 mob that's called a lindworm that's right here i'll Oof. kill it so it doesn't happen again i'm hiding behind you yeah we're kind of in some high level areas okay let me get back on that mount 
That way we can get it out of here. All right, so same deal. Just right battalion. Knocked out again. Oh. There you go. No, you were just lagging a little bit. Oh, I'm in. Cool. All right. I don't know why the music isn't playing for me. I hear it. You're getting music? Yep. So, whatever reason, it got quiet for me. Um, I don't think he's uh, over here. So I was saying RB could change hotbar to combat hotbar. Oh, there you go. Try hitting that. Yeah, if you guys have any uh, pro tips in terms of controllers, I'm not a controller player, but uh, Jerry, if you're watching on the squad stream, you can go to his chat, give him some pro tips for that stuff. So I'm not sure the best uh, methods to tell Jerry. Okay, there we go. Heavy shot, straight shot. So it looks like B is my heavy shot. Okay. Where is this guy? Usually if Odin's up, I guess everyone's interested in the new story content. Uh, is this it? That's a fade. I don't think that's Odin, though. Yeah, that's definitely not Odin. Uh, these guys might murder you on the way down. <laughs> Great. Uh, that definitely uh. aggro. You're fine. We're going too fast. They can't catch us. We're just flying right by. Okay. That's I really right, want to find this I, I was taking a kit. Bri Brienne Ferrara was taking the cat nap. That's true. <laughs> Why is this not a thing? Uh, Final Fantasy fourteen did a, a special promotion with Final Fantasy fifteen, which is uh, obviously same company. So this uh, Noctis was in the game, and you could actually get the Regalion from uh, from fifteen. No longer available though. It'll probably show up on the Mog Station in some uh, certain amount of time, I would suspect, but we'll see. This looks like a very, very scary area where we are right now. Uh, it's just a bunch of scorpions. I mean, I guess scorpions are pretty spooky. Yeah, I'm a little freaked out. I scare easily, It's JP. fine. It's fine. Oh, it's any area in the shroud area. Oh, oh, is that him? No, that's not him. That's a level 13 fate. So it, it can't... It's, it might not be in this shroud. It might be in any shroud. Is that accurate, chat? It's the road trip. Yeah, we're just road tripping. Ah, okay. Well, maybe... I don't. Unless I know exactly where it's at, this might be a lost cause. I don't know if I want to spend the whole portion of the sponsored stream just looking for something that's going to ultimately kill you in one shot. <laughs> <laughs> We can go back and work on the bunnies till then. You're taking me to, to certain death. Oh, 100%. Yeah. I want to climb that tower you climbed last week. Okay. We can definitely we'll visit that in, in future streams. I, that'll be a fun. Yeah. I'd be curious to see how that handles on controller. Oh, gosh. Because um, I, I was using mouse and keyboard, and it was even a little bit uh, spotty in terms of, like, the movement and whatnot. Um, I think the bunnies are this way. What server I'm on? Uh, we're currently on uh, Midgard some more right now, or however you say it. All right. We're going to kill the... you got to finish this, this bunny ah. quest. Oh, you are, you finished okay. the bunny quest. Yeah, well, you, uh, you kind of did. Oh, okay. I kind of did. Gotcha. Gotcha. Uh, what's that next one? That next one's not important. We could probably do the quarrel with the squirrels and turn it in. Uh, I'll just get back on this. We can go turn it in real quick. Uh-oh. I don't understand why all the squirrels aggro when you do that. Just say the word and I'll jump in. I Actually, I can. I'm a I'm, uh, white mage. Do I have holy? Where's that? You can probably just stand and fight. I can keep you healed. Oh, and I got all these ladybugs coming after me now. I'm it's trying to fine. Do the heavy shot. It's what fine. I'm to do. There we go. That's the spell I want. I killed him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're you're like an offensive lineman. It's true. It's true. Uh, all right, well, let's run back into the yep. uh, into the area. You should be pretty close. Oh, you're almost four. 
We should be able to get this once we turn it in. Yeah, then if anyone's on this server, let us know uh, where Odin's at. I'd love to show Jerry and uh, potentially new players what that's all about. Um, okay. We're on uh, Midgard right now on the Aether Data Center. Hold right trigger and then A or B to use skill. Okay, got it. Thank you. Wow, now in the daylight, I was about to say, you just threw on a pair of jeans. Were you just rocking down? Oh. oh, yeah. So, eventually you can glamour, because I was, like, changing between all my different classes. So, you know, you can be, like, a little uh, black mage here with the the jeans on. We can go warrior. Wear some, like... Warrior's pretty cool with the ears. Uh, yeah, wear some weird short skirt thing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, that was paladin. This is warrior right here. Have a cool axe with warrior. Uh, Oh, jeez. That's pretty nifty. You know? Uh, you can go dragon. Don't make me take my bow and arrow out. We can go back to ninja. I like ninja. Ninja's cool. <laughs> you gotta keep the catfish head on, you know, as you do. And we'll just change that. And there we go. Cool. Anyways, uh, let's go turn in that quest of yours. <clears throat> so we'll just go up here right click on this crystal port over to the archers guild that's where this is right oh you got to go to the lancers guild lancers guild is is that up north chat here i'll just port there and tell you lancers where to go. guild yeah do you have that aether yep i have oh, it perfect yeah port there you can also sprint with lt and y that in, in Cogna, this is giving me some great controller. There you go. Power, please. Thank you. Keep them coming. There you go. Uh, I'm not sure. I think the quest turn ends like maybe right here in front. Not sure. Yeah, uh, looks like it's this guy right here. Green check. <laughs> the squirrels are dealt with. That's so hardcore for squirrels. The squirrels <laughs> are dealt with. Look, they're they're menaces, man. They're a menace. Is this a fresh tune? Yeah, this is a, a brand new character Jerry created. He's currently level three. He's working his way through the game. Oops. Uh, Did you hit four from that? You got to select one of those options. So you should be able to select... Uh, thigh, altered thigh boots, altered leather thigh boots, or elegant tin piece. I would do the do the altered thigh boots. Uh, and Not the reason, the altered leather. Yeah, the reason being is that the altered leather, if you hover over those, uh, they give you intelligence and mind, which are not stats for you, but strength uh, or dex is actually your primary stat, uh, but strength will also help you as well. And that's just so if you're, you know, you can choose, depending on what class you're playing, you can choose one or the other. Armory chest is now open. Uh, yeah. I think it still says level... Oh, you're still level three. three. We need to go out and kill some mobs with you. Let me get the... Uh, I'm get down this. to kill a mob. I gotta get this panda on my shoulder. Important stuff here. There we go. Okay. There you go. Now you're sprinting. You got the sprint to work. Um, can we go out... Jeez, Brienne Ferrara is quick with it. Yeah, the sprint's really good. Let's go. Can you do you have the blue badger, yellow serpent, and white wolf gate Ethernets? No, right now I'm looking at uh Plaza, Archers Guild, Leatherworkers Guild, and uh Amphitheater. Let's just do the let's do Gradania Aetherite Plaza again. And then we will uh, walk out right to kind of where we were uh, down the central shroud. I'm getting it. These controls are... Uh, uh, yeah, the controls are really helping, guys. Appreciate it all. 
Yeah, we'll get some practice on attacking. Oops. I mean, look at the open field sprinting. Jeez. Hey, you're fast. Archers also get a... Uh, once you become bards, you get a... I believe you get a song called uh, Peloton, maybe? It's a skill. It actually increases your movement speed. That's not till like, level 30-ish. Maybe a little bit... Uh, a little bit higher. All right, I'm going to drop group. Uh... Let's let's actually find you a little bit higher mobs in level one. Although, let me look on your screen. Okay, so you see how on the little ladybug, it has kind of those three little crescent moons on them? Mm -hmm. Yep. So if a mob has that over it, it means that it's part of your hunting log. And hunting logs are, uh, they unlock every 10 levels. Uh, so if you hit start on the controller, and uh, shoulder button over to where it says logs, I believe it should be. Pull up the hunting log? Yeah, pull up the hunting log, basically. Okay. So I'm um, two out of four little ladybugs. I completed ground squirrel. I don't have any fungwars. And was that mitling? Yeah, so I know where those are at. So let's kill, uh, let's finish up the ladybugs here. There's a couple in front of you. Uh, and then when you kill those two, you'll get a, a certain amount of XP. And that's kind of one of the best ways to level when you're first starting out. Um, is just doing those hunting logs. If you need a little bit more XP to get to the main story quest. I'm still not sure why we're not getting music here. Oh, there's the heavy shot. All right, I'm learning. There you go, there you go. All right. Oh, there's another little ladybug. Yeah, is it? Oh, I guess it's Odin that's Oh, all that. right. I got this now. There you go. All right. Hunting log complete for the ladybug. Now that, I'm getting that, it, JP. Did that hit I'm level four it. for you? Nope, you're almost there. You're almost there. Almost there. Uh, um, so you had a... What was the other thing on the hunting log? Was it a forest uh, fungwar? Because there's three of them right here. It was here. forest fungwars, yep. Yep, there's two right here you can kill. They're level three, so a little bit closer to your level. That that's four, to... right? That's level four. Nice. Congrats, as they say. Oh, am I, I can't. Oh, so you can't do heavy shots all the time. Uh, no, you should be. Oh, no, you should be able to. Almost felt like there was like a cooldown. Um. Maybe not. I'm not 100% certain. Oh, oh, straight shot is the proc. Okay, yeah, so you always want a heavy shot, and then straight shot will proc. So you see how um, on... Oh, what, what was my X ability that now is cooling down for 70 seconds, and I just don't even know what I did? So that's a DPS uh, cooldown. You pop that, and I think it does, like, 10% more damage. Here, I can actually go... I don't know why I didn't do this before. I can actually go over to the bard. Uh... And look at All the skills. Right, I got this now. So, Raging Strikes uh, increases your damage dealt by 10% for 20 seconds, and it has an 80 second cooldown. So, you kind of use that if you're fighting like a stronger mob or you're fighting like a boss mob or something like that. I need one more forest fungwar. Okay. Yeah, I feel like you're getting the hang of the combat now. Oh, I took a bump. Yeah, and you're going to get hit. All right. That's just kind of nature of the beast. That completes my Fungwar hunting log. Okay, now the next one I think you said was a Dire Might. Is that accurate? Fate discovered nearby. Uh, it was Mightling. Mightling, okay. Well, let's do this Fate here. I'll, I'll uh, level sync and we'll kill these. Uh, I'll actually invite you. We'll kill these things together. So I just level synced. Uh, I'm level 60 on my bard. Uh, but I level synced down to your level. Uh, so that I can do this fate with you. Which is a cool thing you can do if you're grouping with people that aren't necessarily your level. You can join them still in the fates. Um, and so this fate is just kill as many of the uh, little pink enchanted fungwars as possible. 
Uh, and it'll build up in the right hand or on the right hand side of your screen. And then once that completes, it'll kind of rate your progress and how much you contributed to it and give you a little bit of extra XP. You should also have uh, Venomous Bite, I think. Do you have that on your hotbar? Oh no, that's level six, no. I apologize. You don't get that to level six. The uh, choke I can now accept the next class. Oh, I'm a level five now, that was quick. Yeah, we're killing stuff a lot faster than normal, so you should zoom kind of through those levels. You'll probably get a lot of XP as well for doing this uh, fate. Not let me do see not let me do my heavy shot now probably because mobs are dying too fast <laughs> they, will it, that happens uh yeah yeah I mean if the mobs like I'm two shot in these mobs so unless you're super quick and targeting them and and getting the damage in they'll probably just kill over real quick uh is there one more mob that I don't see Whoa. Oh, there it is Oh, jeez. See, now for some reason I'm not able to lock on to anything. Really? Yeah. Even if you're like, well, no, you're locked on. You're locked on to one mob. It's not showing me what I'm, like, what I'm locking on to, though. I'll just murder these mobs real quick. <laughs> the ringer. <laughs> Mom, I was over there killing a bunch of mobs. Uh, all right, so oh, you almost hit. Uh, you're halfway through that, so we could go do. Uh, we can go do your next main story quest. It's probably the best thing to do. So um, the bannock. Yeah. So let's actually, if you hold down left trigger, and then yep, press A. Yeah, you could teleport back. To, I believe that's going to teleport you back to Gradania. Yep. Um, Is that what we're doing? Yeah. So let's do that, and I'll just uh, I'll just port there myself. This teleport is a perfect time for a water break. There you go. You got to stay hydrated. Uh, that is true. Miami new expansion dropped today. Pretty crazy. I'm not there yet, but uh, that's what you watch my man JP for. It's been pretty good uh, for those that are curious. People are, are pretty into it. Everyone seems to be enjoying it. The story's really good. The zones are uh, pretty crazy. Uh, kind of spoilerish, so I'm not going to really talk too much about it if you're just starting out, but it, uh... So I'm talking, I'm talking to Mother, right? Yep, 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 yep. Uh, ooh, okay. My reward, experience, gill, or wind shard. What do you think? Um, oh, well, that's just accepting the quest. I'm not sure oh. what the wind shards do. But yeah, I would just accept those are things that you'll get to choose from uh, or rather maybe just given once you complete the quest. Okay. The twelves wood is no play okay. Quest accepted. All right. Where's it uh, having to go? So I have to go speak with the guild at the Bannock. Speak with the guild at the Bannock. Where's the Bannock? Let's pull that up on your map. Uh, the Bannock. I wish I can't, like, mark it, huh? There's no way to, like, mark it. Well, uh, so, yeah, so the issue right now, if you click on that map itself, it'll show you the actual region map, and then you can zoom in. Uh, with just mouse so, wheel up, mouse wheel down. So that's back where we were, but further into the middle of the zone. Yeah. Cool. So let's uh, let's just run back where we were. We'll just take that run back. Okay. Then once we get outside, I'll uh, put the car out. We can ride over there. <laughs> I think I have some other interesting mounts we could check out. Yeah, we'll put this one out.
think there's a couple two seaters. I have my uh, my you, wedding uh, chocobo. Did that I lose right. you? Uh, no, I just ran down the uh, here. I'll go back into the city. You might have, but we're going right where we uh, have been the past. Uh, nope, turn around. <laughs> uh, going down towards Central Shroud. You're going the wrong way. I think you were going the right way, and I was watching your stream. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> and it was delayed. Yep, there you go. Making use of that sprint button. I like it. Oh, yeah. Brienne Ferrara <laughs> probably runs like a 4 3 40, I would say. I would say. I would imagine. That sounds about right to me. I'm getting it, JP. I'm starting to get it. All right. Let's take a ride on this guy. <laughs> is that is that Moby Dick right there? I, th I believe so, yeah. Can't really say there's a lot of story around it. You know? <laughs> this is just an optional mount from the uh, the Mog Shop. So. I don't even know how to get on that thing. Should just be able to ride Pavilion. Uh, Patel Same thing you were doing with the uh, the car. I think. I, th I believe this is two-seater. What was it, X? Uh, so it should be up and down, I think, on the D-pad, or maybe left and right oh, to right, target right, me. Right, right. Okay. Target not in range. Not oh, yeah, you got to get real close, probably. I'm, like, standing. It's got to be, like, covering your screen. That work? Uh, it might not be a two-seater. Okay. Oh, you, you, have the, you have the sentry targeted. There you go. Oh, now you're on I'm it. In. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> oh, by the way, I like that we have a little wine. We have a little red wine. Yeah, we got a little like, picnic, you know? It's like, uh, it's, yeah, it's just a nice app. The weather's better now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess Odin died or he despawned. Uh, so that, he was he was the one that was affecting the weather and the music and all that stuff. What? Really? Yeah, he, he, it's like a big deal when he spawns. Uh, I just don't know where he was. So he could have spawned in, like, the entire... Uh, shroud area which is like six or seven different maps or like three or four different maps um, so your quest is to talk to this guy right here speak with Galfred yeah where is Galfred right next to us here I'll move the whale you probably can't see oh there him. he is there he is He's a little, the whale's huge I'll get off the whale there we go. we'll despawn it <laughs> greetings Brienne Ferrara responsible for training our Twin Adder recruits? Okay. Twin Adder is like a faction. Um, they're part of like the Gridania army, basically. The area that we're in. I like, I like, I like this guy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, by the way, guys, if you're not watching the squad stream or you're not uh, following Jerry, make sure you go and do that. All right. He's a streamer on Twitch. All right. Starts out streams a bunch of BR games. Been playing a bunch of Final Fantasy. Probably be streaming that in the future as well. So. All right, you got your quest. Uh. What is passing this? muster. What does it say to do? A matter of perspective. Uh yeah yeah matter of perspective. Oh yeah, just talk to him again. Most of the time, if you don't have a uh, main story quest the last person that you talk to for the main story quest would be the person you want to talk to. That's a muster, except... Uh, uh, cannot send me to the forest side to establish that your equipment is equal to the task. I like that. I suggest you take some time to evaluate your equipment. Once you deem your armor to be sufficient quality, present yourself to me for inspection. Equip your head, body, hands, legs, and feet with gear items of level five or above before returning to speak with Galfred. Oh, he wants you to buy some gear. I gotcha. I got some money, I feel like. You got, so, you got 341 gil. So That's in the not a lot, is it? In the bottom right-hand corner is your monies. Yep. Uh, so if you come over to this guy right here, this merchant and mender that I'm standing at, and you go to purchase battle gear. They have some level five. It looks like the, uh, here, I'll just grab you this. It's like 140 per. I'll just get you the full body set over here. Where'd you go? I don't even know where you went. Oh, uh, you went the opposite way, that's why. Oh, there you are. 
Yeah, I have, so I've got that guy is just trying to get me to spend my money in the in the local shops. He's basically saying like, "You're real simple right now. We need to get you some proper clothing, some proper gear. So I'll buy you some gear." Uh, we need. I don't need that. to buy nothing. No, no, no. I'll I'll trade it to you. I don't. Not often people buy stuff for me. This is very nice of you. <laughs> I don't think you would have enough money to buy it. So yeah, go ahead and hit accept on that trade. Yeah, that's a good trade. And then, uh, so you're going to want to bring up your character. Um, see on a keyboard, not sure on the controller. You might have to hit start and then go down to the character screen. Oh. And then uh, there should be a little thing that yep. says recommended gear. You'll want to click on that. And then uh, go just ahead and equip. apply. Yeah, just equip all that stuff. It automatically will equip all that gear. So I'm ooh. See now you got you got some fashion going on. I'm like a I'm like a cat Robin Hood right now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Actually, it's hundred percent, hundred percent. And then now you should be able to talk to this guy, and uh, finish the quest up. I believe. Take a look at this now, Galfred. Oh, he thinks I pass. You you bet I pass. <laughs> Level six. We did some good work today, JP. There you go. You got some levels. Ooh, this is a considerable important mission, but the need for secrecy prevents me. Oh, you're not gonna tell me. Chasing shadows. Godfrey needs an adventurer to investigate suspicious activity in the Twelve Woods. I'm in on that. Oh, we got a scene. We got a little cutscene going on. Who is this suspicious individual? Oh, that's that's a dancer right there. Acting independently and covertly, you may be able to close in on our quarry unnoticed, okay? Fear and anxiety. Oh, wow, this guy knows me. Uh, are beginning <laughs> to take a toll upon the citizens. <laughs> oh, I got an eye patch, JP. Did you uh -oh. buy me an eye patch? Uh, I might have. That might have been one of the things that I bought, yeah. Oh, yeah, look at you. got a little eye patch going on. Okay, <laughs> begin your search at Life Men Stump. It is where the majority of the sightings took place. Before warned, my people cannot offer you support. Lest our quarry catch scent of our presence and evade us yet again. Proceed with caution. Okay? This one seems intense. Uh-oh. Uh, we could we could do that and, and end on that. How long have we been going? I'm not even sure. What, I don't even know what time we... I lose track of time with this uh, game, Jerry. I have an issue. I think we started <laughs> probably like... Uh, 20 after 4, maybe? Okay, cool. Yeah, we can finish this up and see where we're at. I know you had a hard out in about uh, 20, 30 minutes, something like that. Yeah. So. Okay, um, so we're going to do Chasing Shadows, right? Yeah. Where does it say to go? Chasing Shadow. Uh, begin in Lifeman Stump. Let me get a, uh, let me get a little mount here. Now, I'm, I'm getting the wedding choke bow out, Jerry. Okay, they only give this to the bride and the groom. When they get married in this game. Wait a second, where are you? Right next to you. So it oh it's a little God. little fancy. Okay. We're gonna go okay. Alright. Alright. I haven't seen my uh, my ex wife in some time. He's at a wedding right now. Uh, <laughs> so he can't play the launch. It's very sad. Uh, where do we need to go? Do we gotta go back to Gadena or are we going this way? You tell me. Uh, you're you're navigating now. Where do we go? Investigate oh gosh. Investigate Lifeman Stump. Okay. I'm investigating. That's scary. I'm navigating. I don't know how to navigate. Give me a direction. Uh, north, south, east, west. Um, uh, you got me. Hold on. <laughs> I'm not moving. 
So it looks like we're going to New Gradain. Okay. It looks like we're just going straight on this line, like north. North? Okay. Yep. Up. Oh, yep. We're right on line. Okay. I'm not moving. And it's going to bend around. We're going to this waterfall? Open. Yeah. Like, bend. yep. Follow it around. And then we're just taking this straight in. Okay. Some level 12s back here. All the way at the back, where, where's the quest thing? Yeah, and now we're, we're in Life's End Stump. And right. we're, we're supposed to investigate. All right, I'm going to demount. You can go do your investigation biz. So that just means, like, walk tree. around and look. Uh, yeah, there should be something that you should click on over here. Should be just, like, something on the ground that you can right-click. It should say destination or be a little, like, purple smoke thing. It, it changes kind of from quest to quest. Well, I didn't want to do that. No problem, no problem, no problem. Oh. We got some ninjutsu going off. There we go. Oh, is it the sword and the stump right here? Is that what you're trying to do? Oh, I might need to drop group for this. We're about to enter an inst in stanced battle and stanced battles only occur during certain quests and missions uh oh yeah so you're on your own here jerry when you what? go in, when you go into an instant this this is the big test for the day i believe in you you're gonna do great you've all your training has led to this moment take a moment to read the information displayed in the active help window i don't see no active help window uh it might show up when you're done reading that quest Ugh. Commence battle for chasing shadows. Am I getting shot already? No, no, I'm killing these things around there, so I don't kill you. Now, even if you fail, you're just going to pop out right back where you are right now. But I can't enter into this. It's a solo okay. a solo deal, so it's all on you. I don't even know what I'm fighting. I don't even know, Jerry. It's getting crazy. The true test. Make sure you guys go cheer him on in his chat. Yeah, come on. Let's get we're, hyped. We're just waiting. I'm just waiting to see what happens. I'm gonna kill this giant tree sapling here. You look way too calm, Brienne. Whoa. Uh oh. Here, we can do this. Let's do this. Oops. What's that Moogle saying? Duplo Cop is saying that. Ah, we shared a carriage in the opening scenes. Oh, he was one of the Moogles getting drunk on wine? That's right. Oh. Nice neck tattoos. <laughs> Because I am innocent. Uh oh. Something happened. You got a. Got a it's like an earthquake. Uh oh. Or a tree's coming to life. You got a giant. You're gonna yeah, fight a giant tree. Uh, oh, there's like there's like several giant trees. Uh oh. 
You gotta watch out for those giant. They sneak up I, on I, you. Believe do it. Do you or have not. my back? No, this is all you. I can't. I can't help, Jerry. It's the first true test. You got some help though. You, you got a short-tempered uh, thaumaturge and a person's name that I'm not going to reveal, but may or may not be another main character. <laughs> oh God. I'm scared for Jerry, says Krizzle. I'm not. He's got this. He's the warrior of light, man. He's got it. Why can't I lock on? It's not letting me lock on to this tree. Oh, there we go. There you go. There you go. Now, I'd say keep some distance. The, uh, the NPCs will probably tank a lot for you. Yeah, I'm just having a hard time locking on for some reason. You should be able to do, if you use, like, I think up and down and left and right, one of those is for NPCs and friendly mobs, and one of those is for enemies. Um, so you should be able to use that a little bit better. Uh-oh, now you've changed your hop bar. you got to press that RB, change it back. The pressure, Jerry, it's getting to you. Yeah, I'm not I'm not. There you go, this. there you go. Now you're, now you're doing it. I'm literally watching. I'm a I'm a passenger right now. Oh it, God! Uh oh. Oh man, you you got some ads. Now the NPCs will help, but you got to get some. You got to get in there, Jerry. Well, I got this little frenzied bulb. I'm taking out. Take them out. Get them out of there. <laughs> I'm fighting the smallest thing. It's it's <laughs> fine. That's the thing that's hurting you. Those NPCs are gonna heal you. This is game seven. A minute to go. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time. I can't use my heavy shot anymore. I don't know. You got to I think it's just because you're not selecting the mobs in front of you. Oh, you're aggroing so much. It's, Jerry, I'm worried. If he presses in the right analog stick, he can lock his target after he has it selected. Oh, you might want to try that. Oh, oh that just made me zoom in. Oh, oh God. <laughs> oh, God. Uh-oh. Press it again. Get it out of there. <laughs> oh, God. That NPC will keep healing you as long as you keep running. They're, they're scheduled to heal you if you get low. You're doing good. You're taking the mobs out slowly. I don't know why. I, I was doing so good with the heavy shots before. Yeah, I'm not sure what's happening target-wise. Well, it looks like the NPCs are carrying you right now. Yeah, I don't think I fired a weapon. <laughs> so, <laughs> the person in the chat before gave me the exact... I was doing it so well. Hold on. Let me try and find... <laughs> it's fine. You, f you completed the duty. Look. No, I got carried. I mean, I look, carried. you still won, Jerry. That's what matters, okay? I'm usually the carrier. <laughs> Not in this game, but in, in other things. <laughs> it was great play. It was still a great play. <sighs> we'll, work on the, we'll work the targeting out here once you get out of that cutscene. It was working really well for a minute. And B is my heavy shot. It's pretty easy. Whoa. Oh, wow. There's another person right here. Ah, I might have been hitting B without pressing the right trigger, which cancels the target. That makes a lot of sense. That might be why. Are the controllers controls hard? No, it's just getting used to it. I mean, it's just like anything. You got to get used to the control scheme. You just got to learn it. God, these cutscenes are great. Oh, yeah. Wow. You got like meteor storms going on over there. This is. I'm just awesome. chilling in this forest while you got all the good stuff going on. <laughs> I got a really good look at my new outfit. It's, I mean, that's the true end game of Final Fantasy XIV. It's all about that fashion, Jerry. 
What's another two person mount that I have, chat? Hi, the lady. This is getting heavy, JB. The Highland's talking to you, man. The Mother Crystal. Do you have the uh, Astro mount? No. I don't have that. I mean, you got people, ghosts flying around on your screen. No, this is, this is heavy, man. Now you're flying like you're a ghost? I, this is, am I in space? Am I, uh, what am I doing? Am I underwater? Like, I don't even know. I can't uh, tell. It's out of control, man. I feel like Brienne Ferrara is starting to get real cool. <laughs> The Moogle just woke me up. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. The Moogle's, I mean, he just wants to drink some more wine. Ooh, what is that dead thing? I don't know. I don't know what you're seeing. An Ixel. Oh, an Ixel. Oh, the little reptile guys. Oh, I got you, Keel. Hmm. Interesting. She doesn't believe me. Oh, the, the blind chick doesn't believe you? Nope. <sighs> like she would know. I it's mean, yeah, up. she just met you. How does she know? If anything, well, I mean, I was going to say you saved her, but I saw that no, fight, Jerry. No, she you carried me. I mean, I saw that fight. I so. wasn't hitting the right trigger. You got carried by a blind person, Jerry. <laughs> Not the first time. <laughs> a person who can't see and a foot potato <laughs> carried you through that entire sequence. It's fine, though. It's good. God, this game is so beautiful, though. That it's, just, it's, just, it's just fun to look at. I just feel like I'm watching a movie. Yeah, some of the cutscenes get pretty crazy. Uh, pretty dramatic in the game for sure. I want to pull that sword out. Okay, yeah, we might look at that, Bajink.
think we busted them. These two bicker. You can change home worlds? That's correct, yeah. I'm on uh, his server right now. I'm not originally from the server. As long so, as long as look same out in my chat server. just said, I'm honestly liking you not being good at this game because it makes it more accessible to me. I might get it now. That's sort of the point. Yeah, like, that's the whole point of this I thing. Am a, oh, God. Look, I'm throwing <laughs> presents at you, Jerry. The, you just <laughs> Take the present. Christmas bear says take it. I mean, I, I looked at the chat for a second. I looked back and I had a Christmas bear throwing <laughs> stuff. Oh, there's still a tree right over here lurking. Do I need to kill this tree? Uh, No, he's just lurking. They're just hanging out. They're nice trees. Okay, uh, I need that sword, right? Uh, You might, yeah, if that's what the quest says. So uh, we had some pro tips come in from my chat. Okay. If you hit escape and go to system configuration. Okay. And then you click uh, game pad, which is the yep. fifth thing down. Yep. And then click button configuration begin. That'll tell you all the buds do. We probably should have done that yeah, day one. No, I didn't know I it existed. I was, I was looking at this before. Um, yeah. And you can rebind those, too. If you want to change them up, like, it's fully customizable. Here, I'll pull it up on my screen. Ah, see, uh, see so I about. wasn't B because I was canceling it. So right trigger would have been the hop bar. So I would have been able to bring the hop bar up. Then I could hit B for the heavy shot, it looks like. Gotcha. All right. I've never seen this video. That's pretty cool. You can customize it like that. Oh, so if you just hit LB, it'll auto run for you? Because there's auto run on the PC version, but I didn't know that. What happens when you just hit LB? The left bumper. Uh, Should just start moving your character. Uh, right. Auto run, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's the useful. Thing... Oh yeah. There you go. Um, all right, let's go get your quest turned in, and then we'll uh, probably call I it a day. On, am I hopping you. on the Christmas bear? Uh, I don't know if this two. Let me get it. I'll get a two-person mount up. <laughs> let's see. This thing only rides one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll we'll ride uh, we'll ride in this thing once again. The Batmobile. Yeah. Yeah, I, I heard that, you know, you're used to driving in uh, cars with a bunch of guys, so I figured you might that, be a customer. You know, that's been, that's been known to happen. <laughs> uh, oh, God, why am I forgetting how to do this now? You got to target me, hit A, I think, or maybe yep. hit square, and then uh, ride Patillion. Sorry. It's not... Square or not whatever, target. whatever. I'm thinking PS4 controls. I have a 360 controller right here. X. You want to hit X once you target me, and that should bring up. The yeah, it's menu. not giving me ride. It's not giving me the ride. Really? Examine. Oh, because we're not in a party. That's my bad. That's my bad. You got to be in a party ah. for this. Aha. Uh -huh. I like when you forget stuff. It makes me feel like I have a chance. Yeah. Yeah. This is all just a test to see if if I'm getting too old. You know, just for that, I'm a ride shotgun with you. Okay. There you go. All right. Uh, where do you got to go? We gotta go talk to that guy again. Okay, so we're going right back to where we were. Deliver the sword to Golfer. Do you need to know where he is, or you know where he is? Uh, I remember. I remember where we were at. He's right in the center. Yeah, we're right here. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm learning how to read the map. There you go. It's a big day for you, Jerry. Stuff, stuff happened today. Yeah, it's a big day. I'm gonna play tonight solo. You should. Well, here, here's the real thing. Next week, you're you're gonna get fast forwarded probably to level seventy and Whoa. get a ton of abilities and then we're going to throw you into some dungeons and just see what happens <laughs> it might be kind of fun so... golfer is happy to see me <laughs> <clears throat> i didn't really do battle golfer i was carried in battle i mean he wasn't there it, you can lie to him that's true uh i'm gonna hand this over okay What do you think of this? A dead Ixel. Hmm. Yeah, what's going on, Golfer? Give me a clue, buddy. Let's say with absolute certainty that this blade is of Ixali origin. It's used exclusively in Beastman's rituals, okay? What this guy? Yeah, what perp why are they in why are they coming so deep into the twelve woods?
Uh, Yida, how do you pronounce her name? Ida? I think it's uh, Yida. Yida? I think that's how and I said it. It's one of those Papa names Limo. where you just kind of have Limo. to guess. Papa Limo? Yeah. Yeah, old, old pops. Huh. They're, so they're good peoples. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good point. We, you know, we're, my chat's kind of talking about boosting and how it's going to be a little bit of a, a shell shock. We could, right. we could boost a different class for you so that you could keep playing this class at the level that it is, but then have an alternate class that you play next week. So I we don't could know. see some of the, some of the, yeah. So we could see some of the other stuff up. just to check it out. I mean, that's up to you. I and, mean, and we could talk with, uh, with Square as well to see, see what makes the most sense. Yeah, I, 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 I'm going to also, I am going to really, now that I have a much, much better handle on things, I'm really going to try to at least, I know there's a big difference between level 70 and level 6, <laughs> but right. I'm at least going to try just to get the basic forms of combat down so it's not that much of a sure. shell shock. I mean, yeah, ultimately it'll just be like, hey, instead of four buttons, you have 20 buttons. <laughs> like, there will be a lot of things. Uh, oh, boy. And the game will explain. Not, I mean, there's not 20 buttons on this controller, so I'm curious to see how that's going to go. Right, right. So that's oh, the other so, thing. Oh, yeah, now I have a new ability. Oh, yeah, because you just hit seven. Or, sorry. Uh, no, six. Six, yeah. Six. Did yeah. you get Viper Shot? Is that what you got? Yeah, it's like, it's, it's a, basically a target on like a thigh it's showing like a bullseye on the thigh um oh that might be leg graze is that your stun let's see let me i'll, I'll swap over to bard real quick and tell you it says uh leg graze let's see what it says that might be oh yeah so that's a roll ability um okay so what that does is is it applies heavy plus 40 percent to a target for 10 seconds which means it slows them for 10 seconds so it's a kiting ability so oh and i have venomous i have venomous uh bite now yep so you'll want to open with leg graze and then venomous bite right. them and then kind of run back a little bit and that way they're going to be walking slower towards you and you can keep hitting and them hit with a heavy shot yep yep and then is that uh, better than uh, raging strikes uh well raging strikes is a uh, like dps cooldown so it has a minute long cooldown so that's whenever oh, you that's feel 10%. like percent yeah that, yes, whenever you feel like you want to do a lot of damage the other thing i'll say is these striking dummies right here these are mobs that don't fight back, so you can learn like what you're doing. So you can just right-click on that or go into combat with it and just sit there and practice. Ah, there we now. Now what's up? I didn't realize they had these here until we uh, saw some people oh. testing them. So that's the thing that slows them down, right? Yep. Yeah, and if you see underneath the uh, name of the mob, the uh, you have a little debuff there, so... That's how you keep track of, like, your Venomous Bite has 25 seconds left on it. Yeah. Yeah. And it'll do the same thing for slows and all that stuff. So and you am could... auto-attacking right now, too? Because it's just yep. firing shots. Oh, so that's just auto-attack. Yeah, you always auto-attack no matter what. As long as you're in combat and you've got something targeted, you'll be auto-attacking. And you can move around and stuff like that as well. Um, it's one of the, the nice things about Bard specifically is they're a pretty mobile class. It's weird. It won't let me do a straight shot, though. So with straight shot, um, let's see. Is that because it's on auto? So I think with straight shot is whenever you heavy shot, there's a 20% chance of it becoming straight of the thing, the ability straight shot ready being triggered. And when it is triggered, that means that you can then straight shot. So it's kind of like a right. proc ability. So you basically keep heavy shotting till uh, like the rectangle forms around steady shot, and then you can hit that. Does that make sense? It sort of does, yeah. Cause, but it's still it's it's striking on its own. It's still like an auto shot, still. Sure, you're always going to auto attack no matter what. That's just something that will happen. So when am I able to straight shot? You're able to straight shot whenever heavy shot procs it. So as long as you keep heavy shotting, eventually straight shot will 
become available. And it'll actually like, you'll see a little rectangular uh, box form around it, letting you know that you uh, triggered it. Takes a while, huh? Yeah, yeah, it's twenty percent chance. It might be lower at lower levels. I'm not sure uh, if I have traits that improve that or anything like that. Oh, I got it. There you go. Okay. So yeah, that's kind of like your your rotation, as it were, right now. Um, and this is for you and also everyone else watching. The uh, Final Fantasy XIV site has a job guide. The website does. And it'll actually like tell you what all the abilities do as well as what combos work for each class. Combos being like, you know, how do you proc steady shot or um, how do you, what are your other combos that are on your class? So if you ever have questions, you can go to that website. You can also practice uh, target switching here, going from like dummy to dummy if you want. So you can get that dialed in. There you go. You're doing it, Jerry. So I have to target. Okay, left to right is just my target. So why does it keep bringing me back to this person? This one? You might be locked Always... in on that one, maybe? Yeah, how do I lock into another one? Uh, try... Bumper? I'm waiting on chat. Chat probably would be the best answer here. Right, because... Although, okay. Tra Chat's okay, saying the D-pad. D-pad, then you got to click A. Got it. To, like, right. hover over it, and then when you click A, yep. it selects that? Okay. Oh, yep. all right. Now you guys are in big, big trouble. <laughs> now you got to figure it out. You're good. Yeah, I, that, that should have been the first thing that we did. I should have brought you out or found these training dummies somewhere so you could have figured that out. We kind of just threw you to the wolves with a ton of people sitting around you and all sparkly. But now you're getting it. All right. I feel good, man. I feel like we really did some good stuff. Yeah. yeah you got a couple levels. You understand how to actually play the game this week. It was a good week. It was a good week. Uh, let's do one last thing. Quest before we call it okay. and uh, we'll go get this last aetherite for you so that you can go from uh, town to uh, to here okay. so you have to get out of combat stop attacking or whatever just press B be able to ride pavilion if you're in combat you can't join um, or rather you can't mount how do I get out of combat uh, just deselect it and press B I think sheath and unsheath okay. your weapon maybe you gotta do that there you go Nope, unable to execute command during combat. If you just run away from it over here, I should like take you out of combat. There you go. I think it just did. There you go. Yeah, now I'm riding shotgun with you. All right, we'll go get this last eighth right. And then I'll give you a, a couple thousand gil. So if you play tonight, you can use this to trans. You can transport, or sorry, teleport to. Uh, Gridania, then teleport back over here and won't have to walk so much. Yeah, what level do those training instances unlock, chat? There you go, you can right click this. Oh, they're 15? Okay. There you go. All right, let me nice. give you some gill. About to hook me up with some money. Yeah, just some some change so you can do what you need to do when you play by yourself. And I think that's where we'll call it because we're running a little bit over your uh, your end time. I know you got stuff to do. You're a busy guy. Uh, yeah, I gotta go. Uh, I gotta go tend to the kid for a minute, and then. Um... I got to get ready for this road trip. So, yeah, the next stream, man, the next time you and I do this, again, live from Cleveland. From Cleveland. Oh, boy. Okay. All right. Well, 
We'll, uh, I'll, I'll shoot, you some, shoot you some text and we'll make sure that everything's all set up for that because I know it's going to be a little bit different of a setup. So. Yeah, I'm, I've been testing everything. I'm pretty good to go. I should have, uh, I should be pretty, pretty ready to go. But um, cool, dude. Thank you. I really felt like today I actually accomplished something. I feel like now I have some basic mechanics of the game. I feel like I can now go off on my own, even though you are my fearless leader. I feel like I can kind of venture out into the wild myself a little. I I think and so. I'm going to try and surprise you, and you're going to come back, and I'm going to be like a level 35 on my own. I'm going to try to surprise okay. you. But. All right. 35 would be – I think you could do it, especially if we get you those uh, XP items. It's definitely Without possible. Um, yeah. Yeah. It, it's not going to take you that long if we get you those XP items, but it's – I think you could do it. I think it's possible. All right. Well, uh, thank you again, my friend, and thank you to everyone in your chat who is uh, helping and my chat and the community at large just being really cool with the noob like me. Indeed. Indeed. All right. Have fun. Right, JP. We'll see you next week in, from Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs> Take it where easy, did you Jerry. Never, where did you never thought you'd say? I never thought I'd – look, I never thought I'd say we'll see you in Cleveland. I never thought we'd be doing this with Jerry Ferrara. It's all a, a big dream right now. So here we go. We're living All right, do it. Have a good I'll, one, man. I'll, I'll text you for sure. Later, brother. All right, we'll see you. That's it. We're done with that. Jerry Ferrara, he's signing out. He's getting out of here. Uh, thanks, everyone, for joining us. Uh, we're going to end the sponsored stream. Uh, but we're going to keep streaming, keep playing some Shadowbringers if you're watching live here on Twitch. But if you're watching this on YouTube, tune in next time. We'll be probably boosting Jerry up and taking him to the big leagues and checking that out. If you guys have questions or anything like that, drop them in the YouTube comments or just come by the stream and uh, we'll see what we can answer them when it comes to uh, getting started in Final Fantasy. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.